guys, it's Becky. Welcome to my channel. I have a homeschooling video for you guys today that I think will be really helpful. This would have been something that would have definitely helped me when we started our homeschooling journey so many years ago now. I think we're going on 10 years or 11. I can't remember. I've lost track. Um, so I have a couple questions to ask you in regards to homeschool math. Is your child bad at math? Is your child bored with math? Is your child intimidated by math? Are you, try, are you scared of teaching math and thinking maybe you can't do it or it's one of your worst subjects when you were a kid and you don't really know how you're going to help your child with their math if you're going to homeschool them? And are you looking for a math curriculum that is extremely low cost? If you answered yes to any of those questions, you're definitely going to want to watch all of today's video because I am going to be sharing with you guys about teaching textbooks. It is a math curriculum that we have used since the very beginning when my oldest daughter first started homeschooling in the middle of fourth grade. She used it all the way through high school and you know did very well and we have loved it for her and we're using it with her younger sister and it's been perfect for her. So if you're looking for a math curriculum for any of those reasons that I mentioned earlier, either switching from what you're currently using or maybe you're just thinking about homeschooling, you're trying to figure out what am I gonna do about math, then today's video is for you. So to answer those questions for you that I asked in the beginning of the video is, is it fun? Are your kids gonna be bored with it like they are maybe a traditional open book math curriculum? Teaching textbooks makes teaching math fun. There are custom wallpapers your child can pick for their lessons. There's little virtual stickers that they can collect and put them in a sticker album. There's virtual buddies that they can choose that either can have sound that they make or you can turn the sounds off, but they like the little sounds usually. And they're just fun little guys that'll help them throughout their lessons. They'll pop up with hints throughout the lesson. So that makes math fun. It, I mean, I know there's people out there that like math, which to me is like crazy because I hate it. But if you're gonna have to do math anyway, why not make it fun and colorful and bright and engaging and something that kids actually enjoy doing? That answers the first question about math being boring. The second thing is if you are tired of teaching math or you're intimidated by teaching math, you just don't think you're smart enough to do it. Maybe you are good at math yourself, but you're not really good at explaining it. Um, that's a common thing that can happen. Teaching textbooks is taught for you. You don't have to teach anything. The lectures are all online. They watch the lecture. They can go back and re-watch the lecture as many times as you want them to. And I'm not having to teach anything, which for me, if you followed our homeschooling journey for a while, then you would know. But for me, homeschooling math was one of the, the main things that intimidated me when we first started because I am bad at math. I'm bad at doing it myself. And I'm also bad at explaining things that I actually do know how to do. So it's kind of a bad combination. Um, so I was really looking, really looking for way back then a, pro a program that was taught for me and teaching textbooks definitely is. And the fact that you can have your child go back and rewatch these lectures as many times as necessary is really, really helpful. And even from a time standpoint, you know, maybe you don't have time to teach every subject. Maybe you've got a job that you're working and homeschooling. Maybe you've got multiple children and you can't do math for every single child every single day. It really is nice to have teaching textbooks doing that and pulling that weight for you. And my probably my favorite thing about teaching textbooks, other than the fact that it's taught for me, is literally every problem, there are solutions to every single problem. So if my child makes a mistake, she can go back and see why it's wrong and it's retaught, that little section is retaught again about how to do it correctly. And again, that's really important to stop a mistake as soon as it happens, not waiting until the next day or the next week to maybe grade it and, oh, you missed this one, let's go back. Like as soon as they make the mistake, they're learning that day that they made a mistake and they need to go back and fix it. So I really appreciate that about teaching textbook. If she makes enough mistakes, then I can actually go back and erase the entire lesson. So not only will she have to rewatch the lecture, but she'll have to redo the same problems again. So that's a really nice option that we don't do a whole lot, but we have had to do it before and that's fine. It's a great option to have. And then once she's done with her work for the day, it is automatically graded for me. I don't have to sit down. Not only am I not having to teach on the front end, and not correct while she's doing her lessons, but I'm also not having to sit down at the end of every day or every week and grade a bunch of math problems. It's automatically graded for me, so she gets a grade for each lesson, and then there's a, a running cumulative grade that you'll be able to see in your parent dashboard of what her grade is over the, overall the entire course, so that's really helpful. And then like I mentioned about something, maybe you want a curriculum or you need a curriculum that is inexpensive. I know homeschooling can be expensive, and especially if you're buying, you know, entire programs from a company, it can be a very large investment. And so um, it's really nice to find curriculum that is affordable. And that's one thing I, I so appreciate about teaching textbooks because I really get, I don't get the feeling like I do with some companies that they're just in it for the money. 
because not only are they offering you know all these great things in their program but they're keeping their cost really low and they have kept it really low over the years and that's really important i think for homeschooling families and it says a lot about them as a company and there are large family discount plans so it's another way that they're making it more affordable for people who do have multiple children that are using teaching textbooks so that's really nice they offer a 15 lesson free trial which is very generous that your child can do the first 15 lessons of any or all levels that they want to try it out see how they like it see how you like it and how it's going to be a good fit for your family so that's really generous. And then also they offer free over the phone tutoring. It's something that a lot of people don't know about teaching textbooks, but they do offer free over the phone tutoring. So if going back and redoing a lesson is not enough for your child and they have something they really are struggling with, you can call and a tutor will call your child back and help them over the phone with whatever problem that they're having. So that is really nice. And that's why I say, you know, those three things combined, the really nice discount for families and then just the price in general, the 15 lesson free trial and the free tutoring those things alone i think really are a testament to how much teaching textbooks really is in it to help families and help parents to give kids a solid math education which i really feel like teaching textbooks offers i could sing the praises of them all day long if you guys have watched my channel for a while then you would know i do i love it i think it's one of the one of if not the only curriculum that we have gotten from the beginning and stuck with it the entire time so love it Highly recommend it for you guys. I will have a link in the description box for that 15 lesson free trial for you guys. There's also a placement test for each level on their website. Highly encourage you guys if you're interested in teaching textbooks that you look and you have your child take you know any of those placement tests that you feel like they need to in order to place them in the right level. So if you need a math change, maybe you're using something that's not working anymore. Maybe you're using something that was never working and you didn't know where else to go. Or maybe you're new to homeschooling, you're just researching it, you're looking at what's out there, you're finding out what people are saying about curriculum, which is I know what I did and I still continue to do. I'm always looking and listening to what people are using and loving and kind of weighing that with what we're using and loving and not loving. Uh, but if you are looking for a solid math curriculum that is as parent free as you want it to be that's affordable and is a really thorough curriculum that i really encourage you guys to check out teaching textbooks i will also link my homeschooling playlist i think there's over 250 videos in that playlist now all about you know there's other videos in there about teaching textbooks there are videos about other curriculum reviews and curriculum choices for just about every year for the girls that we've done um homeschool room tours are in there just tons of tons of homeschooling videos are in that playlist so definitely check it out i feel like it's a wealth of information for you guys of our journey along the way things we learned things we love things we didn't love there's some some of that in there too so definitely check that out and i'll see you in the next video bye